Hello and welcome to day 22 of the wonder of Easter. He died. So where are we going today? The battle, the battle hardened army officer was certain Jesus was God's perfect one as he saw that Jesus died. Are you ready? Well, you could gather together some props or make some basic costumes. Pretend to be the army officer. Find something long and thin to use as a spear, like a broom or a mop or a toy sword. To pretend to be one of the people gathered to watch, find any item of clothing that is ordinary, a cap, your coat or your school bag. And to, be, to pretend to be one of those who knew Jesus, find a scarf for a woman or a large coat over the shoulders for a man. Now open your Bible to Luke chapter 23 verses 46 to 49. And before we begin, let's pray. Dear Father, please calm our hearts to think about the moment that the Son of God took his last breath. Amen. What you could do is, whilst we read the passage, you could act out each person. One person could play all the parts in turn, or you can give them out to willing people if you have them available. Jesus, without a costume, can stand carefully on a chair. You could say the line, Father, I give you my life. Then take one last breath and drop your head as though dead and stay standing. The army officer needs to look completely shocked and blurt out, Wow, this man really had done nothing wrong, ever. The person from those gathered to watch acts as though they've suddenly realised that they have made a huge mistake and shouts, what have we done? How did we let this happen? And then walks away. Those who knew Jesus need to drop your heads as though you've been completely beaten. Once each part has been practised, the actors could run through the characters as if Jesus' last breath is the gun going off to start the drama. So where are we in the Bible? Jesus has been crucified. He is on the cross, dying slowly. It's been dark for three hours. The curtain has been torn and God has now switched the sun back on. Jesus is taking his final breath. Look out for what the different people did at the moment Jesus died. So this is Luke chapter 23 verses 46 to 49. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, I give you my life. After Jesus said this, he died. The army officer there saw what happened. He praised God saying, I know that this was a good man. Many people had gathered there to watch this thing. When they saw what happened, they returned home. They beat their chests because they were so sad. Those who were close to Jesus, close friends of Jesus, were there. Some of were women who had followed Jesus from Galilee and they all stood far away from the cross and watched. Now what do you think Jesus meant by Father I give you my life? It's a strange thing to say as you're about to die. Which of the people there surprise you most in what they said or did? The army officer? Those people who gathered? Or Jesus' friends? If you have three and four year olds Perhaps you could ask them. Jesus' friends watched him die. How do you think they felt? For five and sevens, you could ask. The army officer was a brave soldier who had seen many people die. What did he think of Jesus? If you have over sevens, you could th ask them, why do you think the army officer said what he did? What do you think convinced him? And for teenagers, it's interesting that these three people or groups of people all saw the same thing but each reacted very differently. Why do you think that is? Which of the three is the most interesting to you? And if you have time at the end to pray, thank God for how Jesus died and how he kept trusting to the very end. Or tell God how you feel as you have watched Jesus die. Thank you, Lord, that you died to save us. Amen.